Hey there, welcome back. Well, today we're looking at the brand new Meta-based smart home sensors that have been released by IKEA just recently. Now, these devices are really, really cheap, coming in at under $10 unbelievable so i'm really interested to see how well these devices work how well they've been built and most importantly are they going to connect to home assistant and offer the functionality that we're looking for so on the 6th of november ikea launched these 21 new matter compatible smart home products so they've got a whole range they've got lighting sensors and control devices um, so there's a whole range of lighting. We've got the different E2627, the p 45 GU10s. So I haven't managed to try any of these yet, but the ones that I'm going to focus on today is some of the smart sensors. So we've got motion, door and window, temperature, humidity, air quality, water leakage, and then we've got the remote controls, the Bill Risa range of devices. So having a look, for example, at the over here we've got the door and window sensor so i mean it's pretty unbelievable seven dollar 99 for a matter based device it's working on triple a batteries so easily replaceable one thing that i really like they've got these available at ikea eight dollars 99 for a pack of four rechargeable batteries the nice thing about this is that apparently ikea's designed these specifically to run on the 1.2 volts that is provided by a rechargeable battery. So we're avoiding those coin cells and we're also avoiding throwing batteries into landfill. So that's the first one I've bought. The second one is the clip box. So this is the water leak sensor. So we'll be testing these out today, having a look at them and then connecting them to Home Assistant if that's going to work. Um, next up, this one looks very exciting. Um, air quality sensors that offer both particulate matter and CO2 are generally plus of $100 US. So this is an unbelievable price, $29.99 CO2 and particulate matter and then communing over matter. I don't have one of these of yet, but I probably will be picking one up in the future then we've got the remotes as well so the bill Risa. Um, i've had a bit of experience with the zigbee version of this device but i haven't seen or played with the matter one yet so let's have a look today and see so having a look at what we get in the box we get the actual door and window sensor itself with the magnet and then an instruction guide and we've got our matter code on there as well so having a look at the device um, on the top side we've got this line which lines it up there with the magnet like that and then we've got a button this is for putting it into the pairing mode and then we've got an indicator led that starts flashing the moment the magnet moves in and out of the range um, it's relatively thick probably about just over a centimeter uh, we've got our matter number on the side there and it's got the base so we need to just use a screwdriver or something just to pry this base off the bottom there so that's your mounting bracket you can either mount it with a 3m tape provided there or you can mount it with a screw which is not provided um, so looks like it connects reasonably well i don't think it's just going to fall out um, and then looking at the device itself obviously we've got the ikea branding with a another qr code on the back here We've got some serial numbers and things made in Vietnam, I see, is where they're making these devices. Um, the quality of the injection molding feels pretty good. Certainly doesn't feel like a sub $10 device might feel. So we've got the battery compartment over here, so we just have to clip that off. Now, I've put a AAA cell in here. It doesn't come with a cell included. You need to provide this. Secondly, we've got the water leak sensor over here. So on the top, we've got a little some holes there in the top of the casing for the um, alarm. And we've also got a LED exposed over there. On the side, we've got our QR code. On the underside, we've got some little rubber feet and we've got our actual device sensors. So when you place this on the floor, it looks like these are lifted just off of the floor. So should work pretty well. Um, if we clip this open, we've got the battery compartment once again here. And this one is running on two AAA batteries. Uh, interesting to see there are some little exposed pins there. Um, so you might be able to get into some of the features of the chip inside there. 
So for my matter over thread in my Home Assistant, I'm now running the ZBT2 that I just received recently, and I've set that up as a thread border router. So you can see within Home Assistant, I've got my open thread border router running as an add-on. I also have the thread integration all set up, and it's set to use the Home Assistant as the thread border router. As you can see, I do have two other thread border routers in my network. I have the Apple HomePod Mini, and I also have a Homey Pro. So once I put the two batteries in, it immediately went into pairing mode and started flashing with the LED. Next up, I opened up my Home Assistant on my iPhone, went to Settings, Devices and Services, Add Integration, and then Add a Meta Device, select No, it's new. Now, I did try scanning the QR code on the side of the device here, but it didn't seem to read anything. So next I selected more options and there we can see it's picked it up nearby. Um, it's now asking us for the setup code. So I manually typed in the setup code on the, on the side of the device. Press the add and it started setting it up. As with most Matter devices, it seems to take quite a lot longer than something like a Zigbee device to connect to Home Assistant. And there we go, it's all set up. You can now change the name if you like, or you can leave it as the current name. So just press the continue button, and there we go, it's all added. So now we can see we've got our device added. Currently it's showing the status as dry. So having a look at our leak sensor within Home Assistant, we have it currently in the dry state. Uh, it's telling me that there is a firmware update available. Um, and then down the bottom here, we've got the battery percentage. It tells us the type of battery, the actual voltage coming through from the battery, and then it has an identify button. So if we now go and place this sensor in an area where there's some water, you'll see that we get an audible response and our water leak changes to wet. Our door sensor also connected up just as easily and you can see that it's pretty responsive with the open and the close as I move the magnet away from it. We also have the battery, battery type, and battery voltage over here. So my initial thoughts on these devices are that IKEA has come to market at a very, very, very cost-effective solution. We can buy these locally in store. We've got product warranties that we can swap it out if there's any issues and it connects flawlessly to Home Assistant. So I'm very interested to see what's going to happen with the future of IKEA. It looks like they're really dedicated to growing the smart home environment. For me personally, I wouldn't worry about the hub itself. I think using this within Home Assistant, of course, you could use it in with Apple HomeKit or any of the other platforms because being battery enabled, it should work with all those different platforms. I'm really keen to try out that air quality sensor. I saw a teardown recently showing that it does have a Sensorian air quality or air particulate matter sensor inside it. So it looks like they're using quality parts and I'm very excited to see how this is going to start lowering the overall bar for prices in the smart home markets. I'm also keen to try the plugs because obviously with Thread you want to start building up um, a stronger network because all of these battery powered devices are just end devices. But we really need some Thread um, extenders. Uh, you know to bounce the signal off so I'm really keen to get smart plugs and bulbs once those become available here in New Zealand well I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please like and subscribe and let me know what your thoughts are on these new IKEA devices thanks a lot bye for now